Well, first of all, he had a great story sense. Uh, to give you an example of, of, of Carol's contribution, Phil Sharp did a, a, a freelance uh, show, and it was a cliche show where you get locked up in a cellar or an attic, and it's a weekend, and you start running out of oxygen. We've done this several times. So we wanted uh, Archie and Mike to get locked in the cellar, and they did. And that was about it. Now, Carol comes in, chewing an apple, wearing his little cap, and reads the thing, gives us a beautiful reading, and says we don't have a third act. So he says, uh, different from most stars who would say it has to be funnier and walk out of the room, he says, here's what I think it should be. He says, there's booze down there. He says, Archie and Mike start drinking and get in an argument over their backgrounds and we learn what makes them tick. That's all he said. We got one of our top shows out of it. One of our top shows. They get locked in that basement and they sample, there's nothing else to eat or drink but booze. They sample it, get a little high and uh, he says, uh, why, why do you hate me? Why do you hate me? Yeah, he says, I don't hate you. He says, I don't like you a lot. He says, after all, you married my daughter. Never should have done that. So they go into that. Finally, he says, uh, well, he says, there was this nigger. And uh, he says, that's another thing, Archie. Why do you say that? Why do I say it? What do you want me to call him, a kraut? He says, Archie, that's not very... He says, my father called him that. He says, well, your father was wrong, wrong. He says, you're telling me my father was wrong? The guy that held my hand took me to the park? The guy that showed me how to throw a baseball? You're telling him that he was wrong? Yes, he was, Archie, he was wrong. Well, this, this is what the, the, the thing was. We found out their backgrounds. Now, to show you Norman Lear's contribution, Norman says, we gotta have something that embarrasses in their early days. He says, maybe it was, he was called Archibald. We said, well, maybe. He says, but there should be something more interesting. So the writers are all there. So he says to the black writer, who was named Winston, he says, Winston, he says, you're a black, you have these problems. Was there anything in your early days that embarrassed you? Winston says, yeah, there was one thing. What was that? He says, well, we couldn't afford shoes. He says, so I went to school with one shoe and one boot, and they called me Shoe Booty. And he says, I guess I never lived that down. Now, Norman put this into Archie's the words. And he says to Archie, he says, well, they make you, they make fun at school? He says, well, there was one thing, Shibuti. And at the end of the thing, well, Archie sort of passes out and he covers him with a cloth that was, comes from the awning outside. And uh, Mike says, this good night, Shibuti. And sort of pats him on the cheek. These two guys got together. That made the difference. It was a cliche show that became one of, one of the best shows because it dug into the background of these people.